Mikami and Yabko! Everyone in the game is anyway to make some noise! Japko and Kami just became champions of the Gamers 8 2023 2 million dollar tournament where they placed first earning themselves $500,000. That's a very nice 250k each. But with their amazing performance I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at what settings and what setup they used to win the entire tournament. Starting off with Kami first we've got his video settings. He's got full screen on. His resolution is the native default 1920 by 1080. He's not using V sync. His frame rate limit is capped at 240 FPS to match his monitor's refresh rate and he's also using the lower graphical fidelity performance mode. On top of that his brightness is at 76%. He's not using a colorblind mode. His 3D resolution is on 100%. He's got his view distance on near, his textures are on low, and he's not using any high resolution textures. And I also believe he's using the NVIDIA low latency mode to lower his input delay. For his game settings, he's got auto open doors turned off, his mantle activation is on hold jump, his reset building choice is off, he is using disable pre-edits, his confirm edit on release is off too, and then he's also got his tap to search slash interact turned on. For his hood and reticle settings, he's got his reticle obviously turned on, he is not using the reticle ammo indicator, his damage numbers are on list, his reticle damage feedback is on hit only and his damage numbers scale is on 110%. He's also got pretty standard hood options apart from his hood scale that is on 92% and all the rest are pretty much on default or close to. For his mouse sensitivities he's got his X sense on 22.0%. His Y sense is on 22.0% and he's got both his target and sense and scope sense on 80%. All of those sensitivities are also on 800 dpi. As for his keyboard movement, he is using custom diagonal controls with a forward diagonal angle on 70%, strafe angle on 90% and his backward diagonal angle on 135%. For his audio options, he's got his main volume on 100%, his sound effects on 40% and then for his sound quality, that is on on high and he's also got the visualized sound effects turned on too. And finally for his keybinds, his movement controls are pretty standard. He's using WASD to move around and then jump as spacebar. He's got his sprint on left shift, his auto run is on Y, his crouch is on left control and he's also got his wall on Q, his floor on X, his stairs on E, his roof on C and he's got his trap on one of his side mouse buttons. He's also got his repair slash upgrade on H, his rotate building on R and his building edit is on G with the mouse scroll wheel reset set up as well. As for his peripherals, for his mouse he is using the Logitech G Pro X Superlight. For his mouse pad he is using the Extrify GP4. For his keyboard he is using the SteelSeries Apex Pro Mini. For his headset he is using the Beer Dynamic DT990 Pro. And for his monitor he is using the HP Omen X 25F which is a 240Hz monitor. And for his gaming PC specs I've only really got the main ones right here. His CPU is the Intel Core i9-13900KF. His graphics card is the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080 and his RAM is 32GB of DDR5 RAM. But that's everything you need to know for Kami's settings. Let's now move over to Japco and explain his. Starting off with his video settings first. So for his display, his windowed mode is on full screen. His resolution is on 1920x1080. He is not using any stretched res. His frame rate limit is capped at 240fps to match his monitor's refresh rate. His brightness is on the default 100% but his colorblind mode isn't on the default. That is on Tritonov on the highest strength number 10. As for his rendering mode, he is using performance mode to get more fps. He's got his 3D resolution on 100%, his view distance is on near, his textures are on low, and his meshes are on low as well. I also believe he is using the NVIDIA low latency mode too. For his game settings, he's got toggle sprint off, auto open doors off, mantle activation on hold jump, he's got the auto pick up weapons turned off too, and he's got his auto sword consumables to the right turned on. For his hood slash reticle options, he's got his reticle on, his reticle ammo indicator off, his damage numbers are on list and his reticle damage feedback is on hit only with the number skill on 100%. As for his hood options these are pretty default except the hood skill that is on 80% and the rest are pretty much standard slash default. For his mouse sensitivities he's got his X sense on 17%, his Y sense on 17%, his target sense on 65% and his scope sense on 65% as well. 
He's also got the default building sensitivity as well as the default editing sensitivity and his mouse DPI for all of these sensitivities is on 1100 mouse DPI and also to my knowledge I don't believe he's using any sort of double movement I believe he's got that setting turned off for his audio settings his volumes are pretty much standard he's got the sound quality on high and he's also got the visualized sound effects turned on and finally for his key binds I actually couldn't find them specifically so I'm gonna put some on screen now of the closest of what I could imagine them to be. If I find out later I'll be sure to update you all in the comments. Moving on we've got his peripherals. Now for his mouse he is using the Razer Viper V2. For his keyboard he is using the SteelSeries Apex Pro Mini. For his headset he is using the Beer Dynamic MMX 300. And for his monitor he is using the HP Omen X25F which is a 240Hz display. And finally we've got his gaming PC specs. Now for these I'm just going to list the main three. That's his CPU firstly, that is the Intel Core i9-13900KF, his GPU slash graphics card, which is the Nvidia GeForce RTX 4080, and his RAM, which is 32GB of DDR5 RAM. And that's everything about Japco's settings right there, but I'm also going to add in some Windows optimizations, as it's very popular for pro players to get their PCs optimised. In Windows though, if you go on the settings page, then click on System, if you scroll down to where it says about on the left hand side then click advanced system settings on the right hand side in here in the performance settings you can adjust all of these to be for best performance but on top of that I would also recommend ticking enable peak show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents and smooth edges of screen fonts I also think it's a good idea to go back into the settings go into gaming turn on game mode and then also enable the hardware acceleration GPU scheduling and a lot of people like to actually put their most played game in this section too. Oh finally make sure to go into the settings, privacy, then go in the background apps and turn off all of these as this can be a simple way to slightly boost your performance. Moving on finally as well I highly recommend that you set up these Nvidia settings on screen to optimize your PC even further. I'll slowly scroll down all of them in my manage 3D settings and all of these right here will boost your FPS big time if you are struggling. I made a video all about what each one of these settings does on screen right here but all of these settings when I'm scrolling down have been optimized and probably will help you a ton. It's essentially lowering all the settings down to the minimum so you get the most FPS possible. Another thing most pros do is go into their Epic Games launcher, click on their profile at the top right, then go into settings and then scroll all the way down, click on this little option right here for the game itself and type in both of these command lines right here. That's dash LAN play and dash use all of Available cores. They also go into the library section under the game, click the three horizontal dots like so, go into options, and this right here will showcase all the install options. Now, most of them have the Save the World disabled, High Resolution Textures disabled, for DirectX 12 shaders. Um, if they are using DirectX 12, they will have this enabled, but if they are not and are using performance mode, they will have this disabled. However, all of them basically have the disabled cosmetic streaming turned on, as this will actually benefit you a ton. And that right there is everything you need to know about the two champions that won the Gamers A tournament.